Good morning and welcome to Online Sunday School for June 28th, 2020. And I'm so glad that you all are joining us this morning. Uh, this is the last week of June and we are wrapping up our month of talking about sharing. So last week, Penny and Flossie had a little disagreement and I'm happy to tell you that they have worked out their conflict and that they have learned um, how to share and, and how to deal with their conflict. So let's just watch and see how they did that. Hello, my featherless friends. We want to let you know that we finally came to our senses. We finally stopped fighting about who caught fish and who could be the best giver and we both gave the fish to our friend, Sally Siegel, who has been feeling poorly. Being able to help poor Sally really did make us feel cheerful and happy. I know it can be hard sometimes to share, but it can be wonderful sometimes too. Penny, do you want to go fishing again and see if we can catch some more fish for Sally? Let's do it, girlfriend. All right, well, I am so glad they worked that out. And so, as I said, this is our last week on sharing, and we have a great story today about sharing the good news of Jesus Christ. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Miss Lily, Miss Lily, Miss Lily, I have such great news. Hi, hi, I've got something big to tell you about. Uh, well, hey, Timmy, well, I would love to hear what you have to tell. You're going to tell me and all the kids watching? Oh my gosh, hi, kids watching. You'll never guess what. I'm so excited. Yeah. My parents are having another baby, and I'm going to be a big brother! Oh, Timmy, that is such great news! Oh Yay, congratulations! You will be a great big brother! Oh, gosh, thank, you so oh, much. thank you for sharing that good news with us! Well, you know, Timmy, our Sunday School lesson today is about sharing good news. Would you like to watch with us? Oh my gosh, yes, but Miss Lily, before um, we watch and, and have fun with sharing and everything, do you mind if I go um, share my good news with all my friends and everybody real quick, and uh, then we'll come back and have our fun Sunday School lesson? Yes, I know you're so excited and you want to just tell everybody, so you go and do that and then meet us back here for our lesson, okay? Okay, we'll see you soon. Okay. Oh my gosh, Scout, 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 guess what, guess what? Well, hey there, Timmy. How are you today? I'm so good, Scout. How are you? Well, I was taking a nice little nap in the sun before you came and woke me up. Uh-oh, well, it's okay because um, I have some big news and you're going to be so excited just like me. Oh, well, what is it? Mom and Dad have decided to have another baby and I'm going to be a big brother! That is great news! Oh my gosh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay, um, I'll see you in a little bit. I'm gonna go tell some other people, okay? Okay, goodbye, okay. Timmy. Yes. What big news do you have? I wanted to share with you that my parents are having another baby and I'm going to be a big brother! Oh, oh, Timmy, that is great news! It's so exciting! Oh, well, that's wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing with me. No problem. I'm going to go share with some more people, okay? I'll see you later! Okay, goodbye! Bye. Hey, 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 Rocky, Rocky, oh. Rocky. Well, well, hey there, Timmy. I'm just practicing my flying around. Oh, my gosh. Do you mind if I share some big news with you real quick? Oh, I love big news. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so my parents have decided to have another baby, and I'm going to be a big bro. Ah! Whoa, that makes me want to fly to the sky. Yeah! What great news. Okay, I'm going to go share with some more people. I'll see you later, okay? Okay, goodbye. saw a fish around here somewhere. Where could that fish be? Oh my gosh, Penny, Penny, Penny! Oh, I have to share some big news with you! Yes, tell me, Timmy, what's going on? Oh my gosh, my parents have decided to have another baby and I'm going to be a big brother! Oh, Timmy, what great news! I can just tell you're busting with excitement. Yes! Oh. Okay, I'm going to go share with some other people real quick, okay? Okay, bye, Timmy. Bye! Oh, two plus two. <gasps> Mr. Owl, Mr. Owl, I have something yes. to share with you. Ow. Well, please calm yourself, boy. What's the problem? Okay, okay. Oh, okay. you know, deep okay. 
news. That's exciting. I'm so excited. Whoa. Okay, I've been sharing with all my friends, and so I have to go share with a couple more people, okay? But um, I'll come and share all some more details about it later, okay? Oh, congratulations, Timmy. Oh my gosh, thank you. Bye, Mr. Owl. And hut. Two, three, four. Pick up those knees. Pick up those knees. Let's go. Mr. Coach, 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 Coach. I don't have time to pick up my knees. You'll never guess why. You'll never guess why. Oh, well, hi, Timmy. I can tell you've been practicing running around. Ha, 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 ha. That's Let's exactly go. right. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Big news. Big news. Big news. Okay. Big news. Okay. 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 My parents are having <gasps> another kid, <gasps> and I get to <gasps> be a big <gasps> okay. brother. Oh. <laughs> Awesome news! One and what? two and three and four. Ah! You've got lots of energy. Woo! Well, thank you for sharing with me. Okay, okay, I gotta go back to Sunday school, but I'll see you later, okay? All right. Bye, Timmy. Bye, bye. Well, hello. So we were we've gotten set up, ready for Sunday school, while Timmy was out sharing his good news. And so today we're going to uh, hear the story about Philip preaching the gospel. So he's going to share the good news of Jesus Christ. And we're going to use drawing again this week. We've been doing drawing every week for this month. And in your activity bags, you have sheets where you can trace the pictures of the story. If you want to try it, um, just doing it on your own free hand, grab a piece of paper. You can pause the video and uh, section it into four sections. And you can draw with me or trace with me, whichever way you would like. So we have Stephen Wagner again with us today. And Stephen is going to be reading uh, from the Bible, from the book of Acts, chapter 8, mm -hmm. uh, starting with what verse, Stephen? Verse 26. Verse 26. So let's listen as Stephen reads a bit, and then we're going to draw what he's read. And we'll keep doing that reading and illustrating. So our first part, starting with verse 26, is, The Lord's angel said to Philip, Go south along the desert road that leads from Jerusalem to Gaza. And so Philip left. All right. So in our first section here, we're going to draw Philip and an angel. So just a simple stick figure is all you need here. The angel is telling him to go. And Philip is going to go. So here he is pointing the direction. And let's draw a little halo over his head for the angel. So this is Philip and the angel. All right, so Stephen, pick up for us. Okay. And the important Ethiopian official happened to be going along that road in his chariot. He was the chief treasurer for, the, for Candace, the queen of Ethiopia. The official had gone to Jerusalem to worship and was now on his way home. He was sitting in his chariot, reading the book of the prophet Isaiah. The spirit told Philip to catch up with the chariot. Philip ran up close and heard the man reading aloud from the book of Isaiah. Philip asked him, do you understand what you are reading? Okay, so now we're going to go to our next box. So here we have Philip and the angel, the angel telling Philip to go. And then here we have a chariot. So we're going to try to draw our chariot here, or you can trace it. So we're going to have our wheel here. Not a great circle. All right. And then it says that the Ethiopian was in the chariot. So let's draw him. He's sitting in the chariot, and he's holding the scroll which is like their Bible. And he is reading from this scroll. So there's our Ethiopian in his chariot. Nice. So we continue with, the official answered, how can I understand unless someone helps me? He then invited Philip to come up and sit beside him. The man was reading the passage that said, he was led like a sheep on its way to be killed. He was silent as a lamb whose wool is to be cut off, and he did not say a word. He was treated like a nobody and did not receive a fair trial. How can, how can he have children in his life is snatched away, if his life is snatched away? The official said to Philip, Tell me, 
Was the prophet talking about himself or about someone else? So Philip began his place in the scriptures and explained the good news about Jesus. All right, so now we're going to draw the chariot again, but we're going to have Philip in the chariot with the Ethiopian. So here we go again, a chariot wheel. So now you can trace this here or you can draw it with me. Here's the Ethiopian. And here is Philip. And he is teaching him. He's got his mouth open, telling the Ethiopian. So Philip preached the gospel. All right, Stephen. Can you pick up and read some more for us? As they were going along the road, they came to a place where there was some water. The official said, look, here is some water. Why can't I be baptized? He ordered the chariot to stop. Then they both went down into the water and Philip baptized him. After they had come out of the water, the Lord's spirit took Philip away. The official never saw him again, but he was very happy as he went on his way. All right, so our last box here, we're going to draw some waves here. All right, and then here is Philip. And here, let's see, he's going to be baptizing the Ethiopian. So you can give him a nice smile. And there he is being baptized by Philip. So it says here, the Ethiopian was baptized. All right, I have a new appreciation for Elizabeth who's been doing the drawing for me. And uh, it's not as easy as it seems. But I hope you all have either traced or drawn along with me. And this can help you to remember these important points of the story. So the first point here, the angel said to go. So Philip was directed by the Holy Spirit to go, and Philip went. And a few weeks ago, we had some great stories about people in our congregation who felt the Holy Spirit telling them to do something. Chase felt the Holy Spirit telling him to go to Africa. Um, Katie felt the Holy Spirit telling her to let other kids off the bus when she was a child herself. And so um, we know that we can hear the Holy Spirit speaking to us today, and we can also obey that urging, just like Philip did. So Philip ran alongside up to the Ethiopian to explain things to him. Now I'm going to take a minute here because I think it's, there's a lot of great things about this story. One of the neat things is this man was traveling, and he was from Ethiopia. So if you've been listening um, to some of our uh, prayers, we always pray each week for Ethiopia. We have a partnership there. We have a school that we help there. I think John McLean, Molly and Bebo's dad, and Stuart Parker, um, Charlotte and Sam's dad have been to Ethiopia along with several members of our church. Um, so it's just a, just a fun little connection to think we actually have people that have been to Ethiopia, have seen that country, and uh, that the gospel is going strong there today. So this man was from Ethiopia, and then Peter went and preached the gospel, and then the Ethiopian said, I want to be baptized. There's water right there. Let's do this right now. So this is just a wonderful story from God's Word, a wonderful true story. Um, and so it helps us, so as we're thinking about things that we share, there are so many things we can share, but one of the best, most important things we can share is to tell people about Jesus, to tell people about God's great love for us. So if you noticed in your bag, you also have two more sheets. And these are sheets that you can trace or you can draw them along with me. I'm gonna to try to draw it one more time. 
So let's see here. Stephen will help me get this ready. And I'm going to write at the top the gospel. So maybe you think, you know what? I would love to tell people about Jesus. But I don't know. How, what do, how do I do that? Well, this sheet is going to help us here to learn all the steps about sharing about Jesus. So we're going to think of God. We think of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. So we're going to think of a triangle here, a purple triangle for God. And God loved us so much that he created us. He created this world. He created a perfect, beautiful world because of his great love. I hope you can draw a heart better than I can because that one just looks crazy. Anyway, there we go. You can color it. So, God loved us. He created us. He made everything perfect and beautiful. Well, then we know from the story of Adam and Eve that sin came into this beautiful, perfect world that God created. I get a second chance to draw this heart here. It's a little better. <laughs> so now we want to think of sin that came into the world and it just messed up everything, didn't it? Our relationship with God is now broken. Here we are, the creation he loves so much, and here's God, and the pathway is just broken. But here's the good news. The good news is that God, in his great love, knew all along what would happen. And so he sent Jesus to be born, to live a sinless life, to die on a cross, to take our sins from us. So the cross restores us to God. So no longer is there this broken part because the cross makes it to where we are now back restored in relationship to God. So the last little box here, here we have God again. And then here is us. And when we believe in Jesus and in his great work on the cross, we now have the gift of salvation and eternal life with God the Father. So, if you just wondered, okay, what is this good news I'm supposed to be sharing? Well, right here it is. <laughs> and um, this can help you as you're wanting to tell other people about Jesus. Now, another thing that can help you, in your activity bag, you have a nice little pipe cleaner, and you have some colored beads. So this is another great way that can help you share this great news. So first you put on the yellow bead and that's for heaven. Heaven's a perfect, wonderful, beautiful place. And then just like here, this perfect, beautiful relationship we have, the dark colored bead shows that sin came in and separates us from God. The relationship is now broken. So that's the dark colored bead. But then, just as we have the cross here, we have a red bead that shows that Jesus came, lived a perfect sinless life, and died on the cross to take our sins away. And then, because of that, the light-colored bead, we can now be pure and white as snow, and our sins are no more that he will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness so we can be cleansed and then the green bead this one's bigger than all the others but the green bead is now we have this relationship and we can grow in this new relationship we're a new creature and so green is just like new life growing learning about God and the Bible and reading and studying so now you have your own little bracelet how fun is this and you can wear that around and people might ask you, hey, that's a cute bracelet. Why do you have those beads? Why not pink and purple? And you can then say, oh, let me tell you what the beads are all about. 
And that's a way that you can share your faith with those around you and let others know um, what you believe and why you believe it. So you may take that and wear that. And another cool thing, just a cool fact, as we talked about the Ethiopian, there's um, a lot of these colors are in the Ethiopian flag. That's just a little fun fact. So um, it's a way you can remember the story of Philip and the Ethiopian and then also remember the story of the good news of Jesus, which is so great, probably better than Timmy telling about his uh, new baby, although that's very exciting that he'll get to be a big brother. Uh, but this news is so great that we just want to share it with everybody. And so um, this pretty much wraps up our month on sharing. The uh, Ganaway girls, Blair Jane and Mary Tate, are going to tell us some ways that we can share with the community, um, with uh, sharing at the food pantry in different ways. And then Stephen is going to join me in singing our song, Spread the Good News. It's the one we all know and love where we get to jump to the left and jump to the right. So um, stand up and get ready after you watch these videos from the Ganaways, and we'll sing uh, to end our time. And let me first close with a word of prayer. Father God, we just thank you for your word, for your true word that tells us stories um, of people that lived and that spread your good news and that shared your love with those around them and how the gospel message went from being just a few people to just going all over the world um, and this good news of your love is now still alive and true today and we can still be part of that sharing um, and letting the world know of your great love. And we just ask that you would help us to be bold and to, to be kind and to show your love by sharing uh, food and things we have and just sharing good news and just help us to be people who are kind and who share your blessings with others. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so we'll get ready to sing. <laughs> 